G'day guys, welcome back to Cakes by Chopper. Today we have some emoji cupcake toppers that'll complement the emoji cake from last week. And I want to give the Magi team of Australia a shout out because they made this video what it is. It's not a paid shout out. These guys were just great and super helpful. So thank you very much. And I hope you guys enjoy this super cool new technique. What you're gonna do is start off with your fondant and it's very important that you use Talos powder because this is gonna help your fondant set quicker and you're not waiting for this all night. So we'll just get our yellow first. Get that in. Just add a little bit to your bench and then place a bit on top because you're gonna fold that through. Even though I said a little bit, that looks like a lot because I do have a large amount of fondant. Okay, we'll just work that through. Move on to your white. Little tip, use your lighter colors first because you don't want to put the colors through your white. Otherwise you'll have black teeth smiley. You don't necessarily need to use the Tylos powder. If you've got time to wait, you can skip that part and just use your fondant because it will dry out. But if you're in a bit of a rush, the Tylos powder will help it and you'll get a firmer I guess, stick and it'll just speed up the process so you can get these on your cupcakes. Okay, to set your sizing, you're gonna think of the top of the mouth. So I'm gonna make the mouth about this big to start with. So you're gonna flatten that out. So the size I'm gonna go for Okay, now this is going to be the space between his mouth and his eyes, which we might add a little bit more to later, but that's a good starting reference. So they're roughly about the same size. Again, keep them flush. Remember the yellow will go on the bottom. But this is where we flip it over and you're gonna push the brown in. Moving on to your white fondant, you're building the layer up again. Make sure it's the same length so you're not cutting it short. To make these look perfect, you've really got to focus in on each individual part. Because as you can see here, I've cut the piece between his eyes, the top of his mouth, now this is his teeth. So just keep that in mind when you're doing it. The teeth are going to be smaller than the brown, so we need to go over the top of that. A little cheat for the bottom of his mouth will be when you roll, add a little bit more pressure, ease it off, and then push it down again. And that's going to give you that ridge. This will save you time building it up and you won't get lots of lines through the mouth. So cut that off. And when I add that on top, you can get a good idea of what it's gonna look like right here. It'll go from the side all the way along, making sure it connects up with the brown at the bottom. And when you get these saggy end pieces, feel free to just trim them off and you'll get an idea of what it's gonna look like. The ends will build up as you play with the fondant so it's always a good idea to cut it off so it's not weighing it down and pulling it out because you can see it's starting to go a bit wobbly at the end. Okay, so we've got the mouth. We're gonna use some more yellow. A lot of this is just building it up, cutting off pieces, rolling them. It seems like a little bit of effort, but it's, it's super fun. And your friends will be really impressed that you've made this all by yourself. Also, I forgot to mention that when you put the layers down, Wipe a little bit of water over with paper towel. That way you're not applying too much water where it becomes sticky and unusable. And this will help it stay in place once you put it on. It's also a good idea to work out the bubbles as you go. Now if we look at that from this end, for the bottom half. So we can sit that aside for the moment. And we're gonna work on his eyes, which will require two snakes, but you only need to roll one. As you roll it down to the size you need and then trim it. Just measure your piece from here. That's almost double. 
So we will only need about half that, I reckon. Another really good tip is to use your fondant smoother to roll so you're not getting, if I roll like this, you can see this finger imprints. But if I use my fondant smoother, I'll get a nice, smooth, perfect circle. Now using the back of a paintbrush, going to, which I should do from the side, lay a little line down the center. This is going to cre help create the ridge. Taking a little bit of yellow, and we're going to roll a really thin little one. And don't worry about the mess, I'm a messy worker. It all gets cleaned up at the end. So just chuck it aside because you never know what you'll need. Once you've got it to the right size, cut off roughly where it'll be. I'm going to pop those into the ridge. And then hopefully, I take the water, moisten that. I've made the eyes big enough. Lay those along with the yellow side down. Also keeping them in the right position of the smiley is, is important. Rolling out another snake. This is, this is probably the only really tricky part, is gauging the size between the eyes for later. So you've got to place that in with no air bubbles. Trimming as you go. And then it just comes down to filling the rest in until we put an outer coat Okay, so once you've got that all together, clean your work surface. We're gonna move on to the final steps of adding the last yellow layer to the emoji. Remember to wipe it down, remove any moisture so you don't get it sticking, and add a little bit of cornstarch. Final layer, we're gonna roll that out. As you can see, the fondant is starting to get a little bit more stiff. We need a little bit more starch. Okay, you've reached your desired thickness. You're going to cut it off. Don't wet it just yet, because you're going to measure where it goes just loosely. And then you can open it up again. Get a little bit of wet paper towel. Moisten up the surface here. This is when you're rolling, it's not going to come away. Place your smiley in, roll him back towards. pressure, trimming, and you want to try and get that as round as you can, chuck away any of the off cuts. I'll show you two ways to present this. You can keep it big, do a nice clean cut, and when you cut multiple times you can see I've warped the face here. Just give it a slight push down, tap in any edges, and then cut from a different perspective you're going to get, it'll push it back in. It's important to round the edges out as you go, because remember this is drying out. It's got a couple of big emojis. Just keep your eye on the actual emoji, because you don't want to warp the face too much. It's really hard to get it back. As you can see when I'm doing this, it's slowly going to one side. Just pick in here before we go. Now here's another fun part. You're gonna take the big lump you have, halve that. Again, just applying a little bit of pressure, rolling it out, and just like magic, your smiley is gonna get smaller. If I've done the spacing just right, we'll get nice little smiley emojis that look great on a cupcake. You can cut these as thick as you like or as thin, but the thinner you go, just remember to take a moment, round them out, 
because once it starts to firm up, if you try and manipulate them, they will crack and look really messy. Again, you can go smaller. As you roll, cut from a different angle to keep the face from being too warped in one single direction. Because then when I neaten them up, you'll see it's not too far off the original design. And there you have your little smiley emojis made of fondant. It's super fun to play with. It's a good idea for you to practice using fondant. When you've got a cake that you want to ice with fondant, and a lot of people reach out and tell me, I don't use fondant, I find it cracks, it's a bit intimidating. This is a really good way to get comfortable with fondant and find your way around. Okay, using these for your cupcakes to decorate with your larger ones, you can flatten them out with your hand and then making sure your hand's clean, use a little bit of pressure to smooth out the buttercream and you can lay the emoji on top and then just smooth it out. Now, if I had sprinkles, I could dip the sprinkles in and around and you have a finished cupcake. Or if you're going to choose the little ones, just take the toothpick, place it in the top and push it down through the cake. And you can do the same with the little round ones. Just push them on, be as creative as you like. Maybe you want to add a big one. And there you go. That's your fondant emoji cupcake. Now, if you're super pressed for time, I do have a quick cheats version, which I can show you. Take a little bit of your yellow fondant. You're going to roll that out using a shot glass. Push that down, give it a little wiggle. It gives you a nice rounded edge. Then taking your little cocktail stick, toothpick, then a tiny bit of water, place two little dots. You're going to add two little candy hearts, push them in. To make it extra cute, we're going to get a little bit of the red food coloring on a powder form. Dab, tap the rest off. I'm just going to lightly buffer that out. Then using your edible candy marker, we're going to do, just draw a little smile. And then sit them aside to dry. And you have a very simple, quick heart emoji space that you can pop into the top of your cupcake. Actually, I'll do that. I'll do that now, I'll show you. you. This might droop a little bit, but if you've got time to let it sit, it'll obviously sit perfect. Replace this little guy so you can see again. This is one I made earlier. You can see he's a lot firmer, he holds up by himself. I'm gonna place him in. And these will go perfect with your emoji cake that you've seen last week. So thanks for watching guys, I do appreciate it. Like, share, drop me a comment, let me know what emoji I should work on next, and I'll see you next time. Ah, uh, you thought the video was done? Nope. If you guys are still watching, check out one of these awesome creators. I pick out someone cool every week, someone that I believe in and I truly admire. So yeah, thanks. Show them some love. Tell them Chop sent you. Bye again.